Today we'll be learning on how to write the number 6 with the Fanex robot. We'll go over the program to refresh on how to create the number 6 and step through that, have e that are easily forgotten. We'll, we'll step through the program to make sure that all points are correct before running it in a continuous motion. Just explaining some of the points of the program uh, will be the position register, the weight, the I.O. command, and why you have to have them in the program. First thing to do in verifying a program is to make sure that you have your teach pendant in the step position to verify that it's in the world coordinates. What you want to do in the step position is it steps through each individual coordinate so that you can verify each position as it goes along, making sure that everything is free of obstructions. First thing to do is jog it into the first position. Which is our registry position. Our registry position is a position that we define above our beginning that is free of all obstructions, clear of all parts. Next thing to do is to open the grippers and we program a wait command. The wait command allows enough time for the grippers to open before it approaches the top of the marker. Same so thing to do is to close the grippers with another wait command that allows the grippers to close again before retracting the marker from its home position. Now it moves back to its registry position. In the registry position, we've already acquired that it's a position that is free from all obstructions and the marker is not going to hit anything. The next program, the next point in reference, is to do a linear motion somewhere above our workplace that is going to assure that the marker is not going to hit anything. At this point, if we were to want to program a spot that was the starting point, we would run the risk of the marker hitting the fixture in which it came out of. So now that we know that we're clear of obstructions, we can now approach our first position. At this point, we're going to do our first motion, which is a linear motion to start to six. And now to do the circle of the six, you need to program circular motions. The first point of the motion is for which it starts. As you may have noticed, the grippers that we have for these markers do not hold the markers correctly each time. So we had to make an adjustment to the marker position so that it's going to be able to go back into its home position correctly. So at this point, that's what it's going to do. And then it's going to open the grippers. It's going to give a wait command of a second to allow the time for the grippers to open. It's going to complete the program by returning to the robot's home position that was already programmed. So at this point, we've successfully tested and stepped through the program. The next step is to run it in continuous mode. In continuous mode, by running in continuous mode, you just simply take it out of the step mode.
Alright, now we'll be going into the automatic mode where we'll write the number and return the pen.